Brooklyn's playground in Pocatello has received a lot of attention from various media outlets, including when NPR Radio stopped by last month. Well, today a still photographer for NPR visited the playground as well. Our reporter Dave Martinson was there. He's got this story tonight. Yeah. Brooklyn's playground in Pocatello has been the accumulation of a lot of hard work and support from members of this community. It all began with the father who gained a vision of wanting more for his children. How this all started, uh, Melissa and I uh, stumbled upon another playground that was accessible. And so it's kind of passing, you know, passing that along to others, passing it on, and we want to pass that on to other communities and kind of spread that around the nation. The attention for this playground has been nothing if not consistent. Today, NPR photographer John Poole was at Brooklyn's playground. In his 15-year career, Poole has won many awards, including two Emmy nominations and a contribution towards a Pulitzer Prize. Johnny Fisher, Brooklyn's father, noted that his girls are handling all of the media attention very well. We were at Costco the other day, and a guy came up and said, you're Brooklyn, aren't you? To, to our daughter Brooklyn, and she goes, yeah, and he goes, you're famous, and she goes, well, not anymore, because <laughs> she used to get a lot of media attention, and yeah, they, they kind of became used to the cameras. At first, they wondered what it was all about, and, and I think they just were excited. Fisher hopes that Brooklyn's playground continues to provide a place for all children to play moving into the future. Our hope is to continue to um, address needs as they, as we become aware of them. If there are needs in the community that aren't met by Brooklyn's playground, we can incorporate some sort of a, you know, a play structure for that child and uh, hopefully break down that obstacle so that child can come and, and play in the playground. Fisher went on to say how impressed and grateful he was for the support that he received from our community. In Pocatello, Dave Martinson, KPVI News 6. Always good to see the Fishers. Fisher added that he has a committee set up to ensure the Brooklyn's playground is taken care of long term so that it can continue to give all children a place to play.